This here is my Jaguar Super V8. It is a very unusual car. They only made 800 of them in all the years combined worldwide for this series of Jaguar. It is a spectacular vehicle. It looks like you're in a gentleman's club, like legit. I don't think there's another car with this much wood. I don't even think Bentleys or Rolls Royces have this much wood in it. It's spectacular and when it came out, it was almost the fastest sedan, four-door sedan made. It was within half a second to 60 of the fastest sedan. Zero to 60 in five seconds from a 395 horsepower, that's right, almost 400 horsepower supercharged V8 engine. The supercharger has the most beautiful whine. The sound it makes is spectacular. <laughs> I'm not really sure who this car was marketed at. I mean, it was marketed for me. I love this car, but the thing is, it looks like an old gentleman's club inside here. That's not for everybody. It's certainly not a teenager's car, not in the remotest possibility. It's someone who likes old classic gentleman-like club wood and leather and, and, I mean, the wood is from one tree. All this, it's one tree that they split apart and all the uh, patterns continue across the car. It's the craziest thing. You actually have the same pattern, which means, by the way, if you ever break a wooden panel, you're out of luck. You have to change all the wood in the car if you want it to match. Um, yeah, let's hope that don't happen. But either way, who are they marketing it to? The people who like gentlemen's clubs typically don't want a zero to 60 in five second uh, supercharged V 4.2 liter V8. I don't know, but I love it because it fits me and maybe it ain't for everybody, but maybe it's for you. I don't know. I think this car is spectacular. I love wooden steer, half wood steering wheels. A lot of luxury cars today stop doing that. I don't know why. It's so elegant, this thing, with the Jaguar symbol in the middle of it. It's really fantastic. Oh, speed bump. Um, okay, what else you got? Some interesting quirk in the, in the uh, heater vent air AC system. This little button here, which I have activated right now, it lets outside air in. It's like as if, equivalent to leaving the windows open when you don't have the air conditioner on. Pretty unusual feature but I love that uh, and then when you actually put the AC on you get a mute button where that took place the mute button if I push it here well I'm in the lowest fan speed setting if you're in a high setting and you hit it it drops the fan to the lowest setting where you don't actually hear the air conditioner it's pretty neat that way Take a look at the outside of my Jaguar Super V8. If this isn't the most gorgeous car that you've ever seen, you don't like classic big luxury cars. Simple as that. Take a look at this. Now this Jaguar has got all the features you'd expect in a luxury car. I mean all the typical stuff like suede headliner and uh, heated seats, heated steering wheel, distance sensing cruise control that you know keeps the distance between you and the car in front of you, the uh, that annoying beepy thing that uh, if you get tailgate the guy in front of you it beeps and gives you a warning. What do you call that? Like uh, you know driving too close warning. <laughs> you could turn that off and I do. I don't like it but it has it. Uh, I mean it's the same system as the distance sensing con uh, cruise control. Every Every car that has one has both. Uh, it has all the features you'd expect um, and, and it's just super, super nice place to be. Like it's a really luxurious car. Um, seat memories, uh, fog lights every car has in the front. British cars have them in the rear too. This one does as well. It got rear fog lights and if you're wondering what that means, it's basically like a, like a brighter version of your brake lights. Uh, leather everywhere, suede, two-tone. Uh, it's a beautiful car. I mean the interior is, that, that's what sells it. Analog clock, that's unique. I mean, that, that's just something that's, uh, I guess it's not unique anymore, but uh, it's, it's, it's a dying thing, the, the analog clock. 
<laughs> they look good anyhow. Uh, it's literally got every toy imaginable. Oh, I don't smoke. I've never smoked in my life, but it's got a whole bunch of ashtrays. <laughs> Because it's old school luxury, this car. Uh, I mean, you can see it's brand new. Brand new, never been smoked in. Uh, it, it's, got, it's got also ashtrays in the rear as well for each driver, each person in the car, essentially. You know, from those days when people used to smoke and stuff. But uh, it's got all the normal toys plus and then some. Um, oh, well, electrochromatic mirrors uh, all, all throughout the car, meaning both the, the rear view mirror and the side mirrors are electrochromatic. If you don't know what that means, that means they dim automatically automatically when uh, there's headlights shining on them um, oh and a compass I mean you know not everybody uses the compass I do believe it or not I still do I find it easier to follow the direction by the compass than sometimes the GPS is not crazy as would be expected there's uh, automatic headlights and obviously automatic windshield wipers that come on when it rains uh, the side mirrors they do power fold if you want to see down there they power fold into the car and power unfold and you could set it up so when you get in and out of the car they fold automatically when you lock the doors I find that very annoying but um, I could see why somebody would want that if you have like a really tight garage at home or something like that the car's got all sorts of neat quirks it's got rear sun shades I'm gonna push the rear one up right now do 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 it's got side ones too uh, it's got a, an electronic glove compartment opening Honestly, if that's not over engineered, I don't know what is. What is the point of that? Just a normal mechanical one works just exactly the same, but without the electronic button. I'll tell you what the point is though. Um, there's also a valet mode. And when the valet mode is active, that glove compartment is locked automatically. You don't have to mechanically put a key in there like the old school glove compartments did to lock them. So if you're in valet mode, you have a two, this car came with two different keys, a regular key and a valet key. And when you give the valet that key, he can't open the glove compartment. So that's the reason for it. But God, I ain't giving anyone else my car. I love my car. There's no way I'm giving this to a valet this car. Although honestly, it's almost 20 years old. So it's you know, even if I gave it to a valet, what are they going to do? They get modern cars now. But either way, the car is crazy. Let me just pull over and show you what the back seat looks like. That is pretty, pretty nutty. Okay, if you have never seen the back of a Super V8 Jaguar, you're about to be impressed. All right, I hope all the crows and all the natural wildlife right here don't completely kill my audio. I can hear them chirping away, whatever. Uh, I'm here in the back of this Jag now. I'm going to show you some of the most amazing features. First thing is, the, this rear seats do recline. There's a button on the side. Yeah, I don't know if you can even see that in the camera. I'm making it go forward, go backwards. All the normal stuff for reclining back seat that you'd expect. But I can also control the front seat from up here. Check that out and that way. Pretty neat. Uh, it's also got lumbar in the back in two different spots and that's controllable as well. There's no way that's gonna, that the camera's going to pick that up. But I have lumbar in the back, you know, power control. And all sorts of other gimmicks here. Check out the headrest behind me. That's power, legit. I got a power headrest in the rear seats. All right, here's the best part of the car in terms of old gentleman's club. Like legit, we got like tray tables, like legit. This ain't no airplane, but it's the next best thing, man. I wanna mention leg room. Let's talk leg room, leg room, leg room. Check this out, check this out. I am six feet tall. That's about 183 centimeters. <laughs> Look at this. Whee! <laughs> All right, now, mind you, this is the driver's seat right here. This is how I sit naturally, in, and I sit super far back in my seat in any car. This is almost where I have the, the same. I mean, this is a little bit up forward, but hey, I can control that from up here. So let's push that a little bit back. All right, now the two front seats are about the same. Look at this. This is basically where I sit. Check that out. That's pretty crazy, right? That's some serious leg room. I mean, I don't want to put my feet on the car, but look at that. Wee! <laughs> it's like crazy. This is the longest back seat of ever. And that's not the longest, but it's 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 up there. It's up there with among the longest back seats made. Down here you have a, a set of controls for the rear media. Um, that is for both the audio in the car and the actual uh, screens in the back. Uh, it'll do anything you want. I have it wired up. That's what these wires are down here. Um, these things, I have it wired up for Bluetooth so I can actually play from my, my phone Bluetooth music and stuff and that gets like straight up modern sound in the car which is pretty cool. Uh, the back of the car also has these, these like leatherette baskets. 
I don't know what you call those things. It's literally like being on an airplane. I mean, <laughs> you can put some of those like like documents, like don't you know what to do in case of a waterborne landing. I don't plan to drive this car in the water, but hey, you never know. The rear adjustable seats also have three different memory settings, legit for each seat. So like. I can't imagine too many scenarios that would come in handy for, but if you got like a lot of kids and each one likes it a little bit different, each one gets their own button in the back. I mean, I guess that's what it's good for. Other than that, it's a gimmick. Um, but either way, it's a cool gimmick. Now, you also have these grab handles on over all four doors that are leather and like with, with exposed stitching. I don't know how much you could see it at. Let's see, can you see that? Uh, leather stitching and stuff like that. And there's, there's lights above them that light up very beautifully at night. I have it actually turned off now, so I just don't drain the battery. I shut the interior lights off, but uh, it's really a beautiful car. I mean, you just get this classic luxury feeling. Not too many cars get that, really. Some of the notable quirks of this car that make it absolutely spectacular is it's got like the most incredible feel, the most luxurious feel. The suspension is so over-engineered in this car like nothing I've ever driven. It is a four-wheel air shock suspension, air strut suspension. There is air struts in each corner, plus 10 control arms. That's right, 10 control arms, two sway bars, and several other uh, suspension components. That is the most over-engineered suspension that of any car I'm, in, I'm aware of. Now, on top of all that, the brakes. There's six sets of brake pads in this car. Six, not four like a normal car. The e-brake has its own set of pads. I have no idea why they do that. Most cars just use the, the regular rear pads for the e-brake, but it has an electronic parking brake that runs on its own pads. It's pretty wild. If you like chrome, you're gonna love this car. Check out the chrome. I mean, it's everywhere. You got chrome inlets, inserts in the bumper, chrome grill, chrome leaper, of course. I mean, that's that's the that's the crown crest of the car. It got chrome on the on the mirrors, chrome around the perimeters, on the bottom too, down here, chrome door handles, front and back. It's legit got more chrome inserts down here, chrome insert across the top, chrome around the lights. If you like chrome, this is the car for you. Those are Brembo brakes. They're big too. They're big and they stop the car very quick. And the back has Brembo too. And even the parking e-brakes are Brembo. So seriously, a parking brake, Brembo parking brake. I don't know the point of that, but it does have them. The trunk is quite cavernous. I mean, just huge. You could fit a lot of stuff in there. And there's a full-size spare below, the, bed, below the, the floor body there. This Jaguar Super V8 is an interesting car because it's really not for everybody. It's 17 feet long, legit. It's a big car. It does zero to 60 in around five seconds. 400 horsepower, almost, 395. They got close though. A Super V8, supercharged V8. That's why they call it a Super V8, because it has a supercharged V8 in there, 4.2 liter. It's a big engine in a big long car. It's fantastic. It's not for everyone. If you are that kind of person who likes that gentleman style, that class, if you got class, you need a Jaguar Super V8. And there's only 800 of them. So you'll have a hard time finding one. But I found this one and I'm real happy with it. So anyway, check this car out, man. It is definitely unique. It is a head turner. People look at this car and go, oh my God, that's a classic. That's a, it's 18 years old, 19 years old, something like that. Uh, you know, it's not a young car, but at the same time, most people don't think of classics to be made after the year 2000, this one is. So, you know, check it out. It gets a lot more attention this car than pretty much anything else I drive. And I got a bunch of cars. So I'm telling you, this is the biggest head turner of any car I own.
that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and man, go get yourself a Jaguar Super V8 because they are fantastic cars. Literally, just spectacular. There's nothing else like it. Yo, 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 yo.